Hey guys, welcome! Kat Ray here. So for this video, I'm going to be potting this artificial snake plant. It is very, very cold and wintry outside, so I'm doing some stuff in the house and I'm rearranging some of our basement and I realized that I needed some plants back, or excuse me, some plants down there. But I have grown a true love for artificial plants because you can't kill them. I mean, a real plant that you have to water, I would forget about it, I'd overwater it. So yeah, artificial plants are the way I'm doing it now. But anyway, all the supplies I got here, I bought from Hobby Lobby. We got the pot, we got the foam, there's some decorative river rocks, and then of course, the beautiful snake plant. Oh yeah, and over here I got some pea gravel from our yard that I can use inside the pot if we need to. So anyway, let's get this thing all potted. Okay, so this was a cube of the foam that we bought and that we previously cut. So that's just going in the bottom to take up some of that space. And then with that in there, we're going to stick this on top of it. And that's just about where we want that pot. Now we just need to make sure to fill the rest of that in. One thing with potting plants, the artificial plants, is you gotta make sure there's enough weight kind of at the bottom or in the middle of it so it isn't too top heavy and it's not too light so it's gonna easily fall over. But of course you don't wanna make it too heavy. But that's why we bought the, brought the pea gravel up so we can fill it in. So let me get this done. Okay, so we got some of the gravel in. Let's put this grass or the snake plant in. Okay, so my husband had previously cut up the foam for me. We have a lot of these little pieces so we can fill in so we don't have to use the gravel or the decorative river rocks. Because yes, those river rocks are very beautiful, but you're paying money for them. But this foam is just there, so let's fill in these spots. So we'll shove the rest in and then we'll put those river rocks. So I got these bags of the river rocks. I ended up buying three of them. They're the black ones of this. And I love these. They are so very pretty. But we'll just fill in that whole area. Okay. Well, that looks absolutely wonderful. So just remember, when you're doing a pot, you need something kind of at the bottom that's heavy so it's not too top heavy. You need like some foam in the middle that's gonna take up all the space, obviously the plant, and then some sort of rocks or something, decorative rocks to make it very beautiful. And you don't want it clear to the top. You have to have it like an inch down and those river rocks, that just looks very beautiful. So once I range our basement, I'll show you where this thing is gonna go. But as of right now, I don't know where exactly it's going. I just know it's going in our basement. So remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.